checking in uh, frequently with Trooper Steve, yeah. who's our boots on the ground out there in Orlando as he's traveling and showing us what things are looking like with the flooding. Yeah, he's hustling for us. He joins us live at Lake Eola. Steve, part of the band shell is underwater. Is that what you've got for us? Can you guys hear me? Uh, we yes, can hear we you, can Steve. Hear you. So I wanted to get a shot of this band shell. Our producers were telling us part of it was, uh, I guess, maimed a little bit. I, I'm trying to see the, uh, the structure there. What are you seeing? So right now, guys, I'm here at Lake Eola, and the entire band shell, all of the seats, completely underwater right now. So where, just to give you a little of reference, I'm going to get kind of a landmark to show you how far up this water is. Look at this. These are the memorials and the plaques here that are dedicated by the mayor and all that. This is how far the water has come up to include even the walkway area. The entire sidewalk around Lake Eola is at the level of the lake to almost. Boy, that illustrates the flooding that Steve is, has been documenting for us. And this is what we've been talking about. The flooding has been overwhelming. And we've seen other storms in the past. Candace was illustrating the difference in speeds from right. 1935 to now. But and what about that flooding? And, and Steve, can you hear us again? I want to go back if he's, if yes, he's there. Oh, great. Uh, was the structure, the band shell itself damaged or just you have this overwhelming flooding? I see behind it looks like a small lake there. Yeah. Right, so I'm gonna walk over towards where we normally light the Christmas tree, where the, the morning team right here is where we usually get to uh, light the tree at. I cannot walk over to the amphitheater because of how high the water is. It would be up to my waist at that point. Wow. Um, I've seen fish already out here swimming. Uh, it is rather interesting to see even to where some of the schools bring the recess kids out here at Lake Yola during the daytime, completely covered, three to four feet of water. And then Kyle, I'm with uh, one of our creative services members, we're driving around, and all you see, non trees down, lights down. But this is the thing, guys, I am seeing, and you know what I'm going to hype on. People are walking out into the middle of the street with live power lines down, live street lights down, and they're taking selfies with it. They're holding on to it. This is the most dangerous thing I have seen when it comes to the storm. You got firefighters all over Central Florida trying to respond to calls, help each other out, and there's people out here proactively almost putting themselves in danger. Please, don't do that. We understand that you got to be out and about, but now's not the time. It's still pretty windy out here occasionally. We were just by the courthouse, and the wind coming down Orange Avenue was so intense. What blows my mind, I'm going to just turn the camera around here and show you something. Look how deep this water is. This wa I, I want to look at that. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. So you guys, it's on yeah. to the stage. And to so give you some perspective, to the, lake, you know, the, the seats absolutely. go down at an look angle at there. Completely submerged at this point. And you cannot even walk around Lake Eola right now. Uh, there's OPD is out here not stopping anybody, but they are 100% out here making sure that people are paying attention, doing what they need to do. And at the end of the day, they want you to stay home right now. This is all over the place. If you don't think you have flooding in your neighborhood, that's good because that means you're staying inside and you haven't experienced it yet. But I'm telling you, there is flooding all over Central Florida. I'm about to head over from here and head over to the city of Eatonville and meet up with Mike DeForest. Uh, there are active rescues happening in the city of Eatonville, uh, pretty much all over Central Florida. But Eatonville got hard, hit hard, and we're going to make our way over that way, guys. Back to you. 